The next thing you will need to do is you need to set up your Bitrix account. As you can see already, I have login already there, but for me, uh, as I've already signed in, it's a very simple process. Again, it's just name, address. You may need to upload a, a copy of your passport just to prove who you are, and then you're in. It's really, really simple. I set a friend up the other day, it took two minutes. So once you're in, then all you need to do is either, if you're already signed up go to login if not go through the sign up process so i'll just quickly sign in so bear than two seconds and they have quite a few layers of security so on this one it's asking me to match the squares where's the parachute and all the street signs okay the input so you'll need google authenticator on your phone and we just need to input the code. And this changes every 30 seconds or so. Input that and in we go. And we're into Bitrix. And here we are. So what I'm going to do is set up a wallet. So first of all, click on wallets, top right hand corner. What this will first of all show you is what you've got in your account. So uh, currently, and I have a trade in quite a few different accounts, but in this particular one, I have 2.7 Bitcoin. It's obviously converted into US dollars. So you know, if you want to convert that into GB, then just knock off 20% generally. So about nine and a half thousand, I think, in that one. And then what you do next is. Um, Bitcoin's obviously your big one, so when we talked about those addresses before, you click and this will appear. So here we have my Bitcoin address, and I will need that later when we go through the next uh, step of training later. When we're, I, I'm going to show you how to buy the Bitcoin and send it into this wallet, so we'll see it appear, and then you can go and trade, spend, do whatever you like with it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to find a coin that I don't have a wallet for. Energy coin. Not sure what this is, but I'm just going to. Oh no, hemp coin. Let's go hemp coin. Why not? So if you want to set up a wallet, you literally press on the, the plus button and you generate a new address. Wait a few seconds and very, very quickly. What it will do is generate a new address. There we go. And now this is my wallet address for Hempcoin on Bitrix. And it's, re it's, just, it's really that simple. Now, if I want to send it, I put in the address. You know, there's obviously some fees, withdrawals, or whatever. Withdraw, and away you go. So if we go back to Bitcoin, let's put it in here BTC. And there we go. Again, you know, if I wanted to transfer it back to my Bitpanda, we we've already seen I've got the code there, put that code in there. How much Bitcoin I wanted to send. Obviously charge a, a minimal fee, withdraw, and then that would go back to my account. And we're gonna go through all this process um, in later videos. So we're gonna go through the whole step from start to finish, backwards and uh, forwards and backwards through the whole process in order so you can just follow this video, stop it, do the process, watch the video, do the next bit, watch the video, do the next bit, and make it really free flowing for you. So that's, that, that's it, that's, that's Bitrix in terms of the wallets, really, really simple. It does have some other functions that are coming soon, so a profit and loss. And we start to look at the trading stuff, I'm gonna show you a way that you can track your portfolio uh, quite quickly and on your mobile. It's very good, updates uh, pretty much by the second as well, so it's really, really good. So, But they've got some of the cool things coming. Auto sales, not 100% sure what that is, but there's lots of things coming. I need to probably have a sit down and, and read through that in a bit more detail.
but yeah you can see again got some orders Z Classic today that one that we set up earlier is still waiting so sometimes you know I might wait two three even four days even a week sometimes for a trade to be filled but I'm getting it at the best price and generally they're on support lines so they normally bounce off the support lines to go up so I'm generally in profit from day dot pretty much and that's pretty much you know it's a good little trading tip and we're gonna go through some of those in, in later videos too so that's how you get into Bitrix. so I hope that helped guys and we're on to the next video if you liked today's video then please leave me a like or a comment you can also follow us on our Twitter our Instagram and also check out our crypto rookies website as well as always I hope you got great value out of today's video and I hope to see you on the next video soon I'm feeling